I'm a pretty stand-up guy, and I surround myself around high-character individuals, people who stand on principle, you know, my family like that, too. Just everybody I surround myself is pretty much like this, all, all the guys, you know, I hang with, and just things of that nature. But this brings me to my next point. You know, if, you know, if I just around, you know, some like, you know, if I'm black, you know, you black, you know, I give you the head nod and you kind of really don't give me like the head nod back, man, yeah, bro, that's like not acceptable. And I don't think that's just like real stand up type, you know, behavior. That's not cool on like no, 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 no level. Not cool at all. You give you the head nod, you got to return it. <laughs> And whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. It's your man, Aldo Nice. And it's your boy, Raj Smooth. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C.A.P. Um, I think that might have been one of the most single issue, like they talk about single issue voters, like people who only vote on one thing. That was a very single issue Rumble speaks to start the podcast. Yeah. Rumble doesn't usually be single issue. He's usually all over the place. Maybe he in his feelings a little bit because cause, cause we said, um, <laughs> say that brings me to my next point, even if it means you never had an original point to begin with. <laughs> Maybe he feels that way, but Rumble, that I can't, you, what do you say, Los? Uh, oh, you, you, ain't, you ain't wrong when you're right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't wrong yeah. when you're right. Especially if you're somewhere where you, y'all, you know, you're at a conference or something and nine times ten, you're one of the only few black people in the conference. And every time you walk past black with a woman or a woman or a man, you give them the head now, like, hey, you know, acknowledge them. And if I acknowledge you at all white conference and there's only five of us here, there's a thousand of them, and I head nod you and you don't head nod me back, I kind of want to steal on you. So I feel them. It's I not acceptable. It's not. In no way, shape, form. And I think the definitely there's a sliding scale that speaks to the amount of black people present. Yes. If the amount of black people present are just you and one other black person, it's like a must yeah. that you return any kind of yeah. black greeting. We that almost got to. We don't have to. We almost got a Wakanda. If almost. It's, if it's if it's we got to do the little Wakanda jump. Josephine John is something. Something. If it's just two of them. Yeah. Now if it's like four of us, it depends on how many white people there are too. Though. Wow. What's hell? Yeah. <laughs> no, it don't. Wow. No. No, it could be a, a room full of Mexicans and two black people. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, well, it's yeah. not right. the amount of white people don't matter. Mm-hmm. I, I don't yeah, think. I just right. think it's the Race, amount of non-blacks. So, like, I exactly. said, right about that. Yeah, if it's two black people in a room full of anything else. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I you agree. gotta be like, like, and 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 honestly, what I find myself doing a lot, like, because I, I guess I'm in a professional setting, is not doing the up head nod. I do the down <laughs> head nod. Like, you know, it just looks a little bit like, well, what's up, bro? You know, like just. The down head nod, I feel like it's kind of a subtle body language that's that's submissive though. Yeah. That's like that up is like was you know, was down though. I'm with the shits too. Not that up, just that in case up, you though, will. That up be like I like I don't know. I really feel like it's very very informal. Like it's very down, informal. Absolutely, down, it's, it's, it's meant to be informal. though. But that down, that down don't feel submissive to me. That down be like to me how I feel like I'm checking on you. Like you good. I mean, I'm giving the down. Right. I'm, I'm sitting and, and as we're talking yes. about it, and as you're listening to this out here, you're probably in your car putting your head <laughs> down, down or bobbing your head up. You you have to be because that's what we're doing right yeah. now. That's what we're doing we keep right practicing now. it. We think about it. Just <laughs> trying to see how I feel either way it go. Yeah, I'm giving. And then going over my head, trying to see. Okay, when when have I given the down, Daddy? I have given the down. Yeah, I've given the down to people that aren't black though. Like I've given the down to, up to some people when they're like, "So, Alan, what do you think about this project? You think it's a good deal? I think it's great, man." Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm giving the down. Yeah. I'm giving down to non-blacks. Yeah, the up is reserved for black folks, though. Yeah. I think uh, the up uh, is reserved for blacks too. But sometimes the ups can be like so. Like like I said, the down is like you good, bro. The the <laughs> are you good, B? But the up is like what's up, nigga? Like you know what I'm saying? Like the up yeah. could be like really like I'm checking the nigga. You know, like what's it oh, depends on facial expression. Yeah, I'm about to say so it depends on the kind of dude, the kind of black man you 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 up and down into. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if, if you're looking at him, you're a professional set, and he, and he look like he with the shit, you're going to give him the up. But if he might not, you'd be like, eh, I don't But know. if we standing on Canal Street, and it's a thousand black people for Bayou Classic, you can't just up a nigga. You can't up a nigga. You can't up a nigga in the setting of a bunch of black people. No. Because that the nigga going to look at you like, oh, so what's that? So what's, the way you just said it, yeah. what's ham, though? Yeah. Yeah, what's good? Yeah. 
what what's what's I'm really good. Is, though, I don't know if y'all boys know this, but like, so being out here in Denver, I see a lot. No, I'm not gonna say a lot, but I I see a, uh, my fair share of Saints fans. Like it mm-hmm. seems like people that's from Louisiana come in with some Louisiana shit on every single time, yeah. and fair that's enough. reserved for me giving them that spread hand. Like oh, you, you go mean, with the like, spread hand. Whoa, yeah, the whoa, hand. whoa, whoa, I see. <laughs> What's that on my yeah. dog? Yeah, okay. You know, like that, like way, way, like I'm I'm using my body. I'm not using my head. Like, what's good, yeah. my dog? You straight? Yeah. I'm a I'm a really big proponent of not using any body parts with when I see Saint stuff. Just passing by them and like ever so gently saying, Who that yeah. though? Who that? <laughs> Definitely. Who that? Definitely. Like just, across I, I, the I wanna sneak it in mm-hmm. to where they almost about to pass me, and then they turn they gotta turn around and Look be like you. Yeah, the whoa, the whoa, yeah. and whoa, Drew Brees. Yeah. I said Drew Brees. Yeah. <laughs> Come out about them saying she boy look. That's yeah. what the dude told me. I said the dude told me at work. But what happened if you see Ali Bruce all across the way? What you gonna you do? You gotta scream Ali. I say Ali. <laughs> Ali, Ali, Ali. I say Ali. Oh, um, no, the Saints thing. Honestly, when you just said it, the Saints thing is almost just the same as like my fraternity. Like hmm. when I see my frat brothers and I see them cutting, I say like, "What you know about um?" I say something about the founders, like, "What you know about Abraham Langston Taylor?" And they'll be like, "Ooh, I know, I know about that bar across the burning sands, and we'll have a little something." I feel much the same way when I see a Saints fan outside of like New Orleans. When I say, "You know, well, who that though?" They're gonna come back with something very who that esque. Oh yeah, to me. What you know about yeah. Malcolm Jamal Warner? Black, black and gold to the Super Bowl. Most to know about Malcolm Jamal Warner. Then, then I respond and be like, "You heard, um, Elvin ain't got no job." Yeah, Y'all been seeing that online? You know, shout out Tyler Perry. Let's start there. Tyler Perry. I heard the other day I was talking to somebody and they said Tyler Perry was trying to um, promote a young Instagram comic mm-hmm. and give him some money to to get his stuff popping. Yeah, I saw. Also, Tyler Perry was in the news for bringing up a story of like some um. I think it was a black and a Hispanic dude. Both got pulled over by the same cop in Florida 15 years ago, and mm-hmm. both of them are missing. Oh. Within a week of each other, they got pulled over by that cop, taken in the car, and now they're missing. And the families have never heard from That's them again. Crazy. So Tyler Perry's put like this big reward out to find out justice for those families. And then today, uh-huh. I heard that Elvin from the Cosby Show yeah. was working at like Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yeah, he offered him a job, but he said, I like my job. Yeah. But Tyler Perry offered him a job. Yeah. He said, hey, man, you come work for me or whatever. Doing whatever. whatever. So. I'm just going to pay you. <laughs> to just come be the dude from the college. Yeah, show. just come be Elvin. Just walk around. I wonder if Sandra Elvin. and her long neck got to come. And how about Winnie and Nelson, the twins? Winnie probably come through. Winnie probably. <laughs> 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 I, my, one of my favorite episodes with Elvin is when they had that, uh, when Cliff, Cliff was giving people that, um, that special sauce. <laughs> now, I, I hope y'all remember this. Like, because in... In 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 retrospect, in retrospect, yeah. Cliff was giving them roofies. Mm-hmm. He was giving everybody quaaludes. Mm-hmm. Cliff was fucking everybody, his daughters, yeah. everybody. He was wilding out. Yeah, that's what was happening. But he was in the backyard. And there was a barbecue, and Theo was trying to get him to go to um like a bachelor party or something for somebody that's getting married. And um, they asked Martin. <laughs> they asked Martin. They said, "You want to watch some strippers?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> and then his Denise got mad. And he was like, why are you mad? I said, no. She was like, you didn't say no. You said no. As <laughs> 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 she was all full of Bill Cosby-isms, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah it was Bill yeah. Cosby at his best. Yeah. And yeah, he the had, whole everybody had Quaaludes. Yeah. Ludes for the dudes. Straight orange, straight orange after the set. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw everybody, Elvin on the news, I thought that's what the story was. Everybody I thought he was saying. about to, he was dropping some dirt on Bill Cosby. Yeah. But you know what? Everybody who was a, a member of the Cosby Show cast, they've been standing tall. Yeah. Nobody been coming out and saying You're shit. supposed about, to. Because they need that syndication money. Yeah, you ain't gonna miss up the cheese, man. They get a couple that's nickels off of that's Nick money. at night. You ain't gonna miss some church money, man. Mm-hmm. Never. <laughs> well, Rumble, I'm happy you're a stand-up guy. And per usual, this podcast is brought to you by Rumble Williams, Rumble. man. Shout out. Rumble, we're gonna see you in two weeks. We normally say this at the end of the podcast. So let's just start with it. We, we are two weeks away. All right. BFW Part 2 Best Friend Weekend Phase 2 Now you know what's crazy Raj You said this before We took the other what? weekend off What happened to that Don't worry about it Two weekends Two weekends guys. What you mean you know, took... It used to be Best Friend Weekend Weekend Oh yeah You're Best right, Friend Weekend bad. Weekend Fair enough BFWW Now what you said was This should be Best Friend Weekend Weekend Phase 3 Because of LA LA We took an LA trip Shout out to everybody who was involved with that. LV was in the house. 
Dre Hype was out there with us. Uh, that other dude that Dre Hype brought with him that um, left with that tranny. But I don't know nothing about that story. Like, we don't know that dude. So... <laughs> Hey. They say he just walked out, walked the outside. That's what I heard. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't involved with it. Mr. C. Shout out, shout out, Blue Diamond. Shout out, Wade, Wade Hayes. Shout out, uh, podcast brought to you by the Harry too, and and everybody else. Did I miss anybody? CNH, Eno. CNH was there. Shay, small town citizen. Small, hey, town. Like Richard that. Demas. You know who wasn't was there though? Small town. Yeah, Richard. We was who wasn't there? Don't hire Los. Don't hire Los. Los wasn't there yet. He wasn't. He wasn't part of the team yet. We did invite him. But he wasn't y'all invite me, man. I don't know about you. He wasn't rolling with us. But you know, this is the whole point of what I'm about to say about this, Raj. I was looking at, I was deleting pictures out of my phone earlier because I had like, I was reaching my limit, per usual, how this always happens. And I found a picture of me and you, and it had, and you put the caption on it, Best Friend Weekend Part Two. Right. And this was like literally years ago. Seven years ago. I mean, if you go from a me and you perspective, from a Houston Lafayette perspective, this might be like best friend weekend phase 10. Yeah. Den- it very much could be Denver? phase 10. Bro, you done been to Denver like five times already. Yeah. 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 This could be, and every time we hang out, we call it best friend weekend. But that's, hence the name of the podcast. <laughs> right. But best friend weekend weekend, I guess, is something different. And this is the second official one. So let's just go with that. Two weeks from now. Atlanta, Georgia. We just switched our flights. Uh, yeah, we just switched our flights. So we're gonna be out there a day early, Thursday. Yeah. Check us out. Um, that'll be four, that'll be nine twenty. The last trip we went to was four twenty. So mm-hmm. exactly five months yeah. after Best Friend Weekend wow. one, we hopping, that. we hopping right back on it. Best Friend Weekend weekend phase two Saints game that night. Uh, we're looking for party spots. We still gonna have it. The itinerary is gonna be in y'all back in about a week. So if you're planning on coming to Best Friend Weekend. Hit up our inbox on the um, on the IG, and we will send you the official itinerary of where we're going to be, let you know where all the parties are. We sectioned out every night. We part in day parties, pool parties. We don't know all night. Yeah. One time. Um, all right. So, we got that out of the way. Let's, switch, let's, let's get to business. So, obviously, everybody knows what we're going to be talking about this week. It was the biggest news story of the week, um, and it has to do with... Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump's... Um, Least favorite NFL player <laughs> or former NFL player. The nigga you love to hate. Colin Kaepernick, back in the news. So it Man. started last week where they said Colin um, actually won, didn't win anything, but the judge did not throw out the case and yes. said, yes, we're going to trial yeah. for this collusion case against the NFL. He bookends the week with Nike dropping the bag on him Ooh. and saying that, look, Colin is our featured is going to be one of our featured stars going forward. A whole campaign behind him for the 30th anniversary. Okay, so let me just ask 30th, y'all this. Whatever the Just Do It. Yes, the Just yeah. Do It campaign's 30th anniversary. Yeah. First questions. Your initial thoughts. I have thoughts that run the gambit. We're going to yeah. talk about this from a bunch of different angles. But what are your initial thoughts? What were your first thoughts when you heard this move? When I heard, when I saw it. Because I just... Either I one. Just, I just heard it today. Like I saw the commercial today. But whenever I saw the um, the post, I, I couldn't believe it. That's I guess disbelief is what I what what uh what I had. I almost like first I didn't think it was real. You know, like a lot of shit on the internet ain't really real. But it didn't take long for me to like seventy five percent of the stuff on the internet yeah, ain't like, real, especially on Facebook. Ninety nine percent of the shit on Facebook. Please, y'all, stop s- sourcing Facebook. Like that's not real. Anyway, um. I couldn't believe it. And then after I realized that it was a real thing, I didn't know Nike. I didn't know Nike was about that life like that. You know, so like I was, that's, that's how I felt. I didn't know that Nike was about that life. I was happy to see it and that's it. But I was more so, I was more so focused on like, damn, I didn't know Nike was like with the shits. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, um, when I saw, I was like, oh, hell yeah. They really, really with the shits. I feel like I feel like Nike always been kind of with the shits with the Charles Barkley shit. You know, they they throw some little controversial stuff out there, but not not to this extent. And I was like, okay, they they really with it. Like they ain't they ain't following the, the the post of the country, trying to sit that man down, you know whatnot. And they gonna get behind him. And, and, and then as soon as I thought that, I was like, oh, this is a great marketing scheme. <laughs> You know, it's it's a win win regardless, because any press is good press. And then I, the next day, I finally reported four hundred something million dollars worth free press, free advertisement through it. So, you know, I'm rocking with Nike. 
All checks over here, bro. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade. My initial reaction, we posted it immediately. Yeah. Shout out. We love it. Yeah. Colin Kaepernick. Let it sink in for a second and let's think mm-hmm. about it. Nike is a business yes. that is about making money mm-hmm. with a lot of smart people mm-hmm. and a lot of rich people running this organization. Mm-hmm. They don't pull the trigger on that decision unless somebody, they've decided, they've talked about it, mm-hmm. they've done the market research, yes. and they understand Kaepernick means money. Yeah. Kaepernick means it, it, it's, it's provocative. Yeah. Like People are going to be talking about Nike and the, our customers... Maybe in their head, they're liberal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I saw one of these comedians talking about the people who barely mess with Nike are the people talking about they're not rocking exactly. with Nike no more. Um, so for, at the end of the day, I feel like it's a great business decision for Nike. Mm-hmm. And they, they've thought about this a bunch of different ways. Does Nike really care about the protest? Hmm. Let's go back to what you just said. No. The first thing you said, Roger. You said you saw the commercial today. Did you see the commercial? I saw the commercial when I first heard it. Okay, so I saw the commercial too. It was like Nigel Houston, I yeah. think, and it was Serena, and it was LeBron. Mm-hmm. Nothing in that commercial was talking about no, um, no. protesting the pol- protest no. police brutality. Mm-mm. It was about be the best mm-hmm. basketball player of all time. Yeah. The, no, the little boy with no uh, with no legs. Don't wrestling. be don't be the boy with no legs wrestling. Be the best wrestler ever. <laughs> don't be on the podcast just podcasting. <laughs> Be you know, all uh, over SoundCloud yeah. with a hundred million likes. <laughs> like it was, it was be the yeah. best you could be. Yeah. Was and the, was believe, the, believe, believe, believe in yeah. yourself, right? Yeah. Even if it means losing everything. Yeah, but I don't think it has shit to do with the struggle. So don't but let I'm Nike sure pull the, no. the wool over your head big and be <laughs> nah. like that. Commercial did not have Colin Kaepernick walk out with a leather jacket and a fro yeah. nah. and just put his fist up and say, yeah. "Nike, yeah. we for the people." No, they, they said, "Let's look, keep the fro." Nike was hell. Pull in tight on the front. <laughs> Nike was hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, didn't, I mean, I, I, okay, so I think, I don't think, like, I think Colin Kaepernick, the person within himself, is profound enough that mm-hmm. you don't have to say those things. Yeah. We know what you're doing. Like, we know your message. It's, 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 it's on his forehead. It's there. Like, it's, it's on, it's in Literally. his throat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's Colin Kaepernick. And, I would I think that I would be blind or 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 sleepy. I guess it's the opposite of the opposite of woke if I didn't recognize that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I really like I I we we know that. Like we're not stupid. We know that why Nike chose Colin Kaepernick. And I'm with you, Al. All publicity is good publicity. They got people that's like, well, I'm not buying Nikes no more. Yeah. yeah, but that's their fault though. Well, we're gonna get to them Nike, oh, them, them Nike my bad, boys. No, no, no. Nah, can, nah, I, I just want, those. I want to talk. A, <laughs> I just want to talk a little bit about that real quick. What you just said that. Okay, so this is a question that I'm gonna pose to you two. Nike is a public traded, publicly traded company, mm-hmm. meaning that it's it's trying to make its stockholders money. They're trying to make money. That's what yeah. Nike does. Why is Colin Kaepernick good publicity for Nike? But he's bad enough to blackball him from the NFL. Why do you think the NFL doesn't see the same thing and say, "Shit, we need to get Colin Kaepernick on somebody like a, a any owner of an well, NFL team who's trying to make money?" Yeah, but look at the same metrics and say, "You know what? If Colin Kaepernick comes and plays for who's playing right now, the Falcons or the Eagles? Mm-hmm. Let's just say the Falcons oh my in God. Atlanta. Oh my God, we're gonna get Colin Kaepernick to come be the I'll backup use, for Matt Ryan." So, so loud, no more Hennessy left. What? <laughs> they are selling out Chicken Atlanta. Wing, will Hennessey, sell out watermelon Kaepernick jerseys <laughs> yesterday. Sunflower they will make money right? for people. Like people will be <laughs> watching them and yes. bringing cameras there yes. every day. Buying jerseys. I don't understand yeah. why the NFL doesn't think but, that's because, a great business it, move. I think because I think I don't think it's. I don't think they're necessarily looking at it from a business perspective. I think Absolutely, they're looking at it from more of an emotional perspective. Absolutely, like they don't, they don't, they don't want to see that. Yeah. You know, like they don't want that, and nobody's brave enough. None of the owners are brave enough. Not even the ones in Seattle or, or Oregon or wherever, wherever Nike's at, the close mm-hmm. to there on the West Coast, are brave enough to take that leap. Yeah. But we, I, I think the same thing would happen. I think yeah. there would be a lot of people that would not watch the NFL or whatever. But I also think that there would be a lot of people that would support the NFL even more. So, I mean, I, f- I feel like uh, to be to piggyback off your point, the the owners are thinking it from it is these are my employees down here, and he got them come banding together and moving a certain kind of way that I don't like. 
You know, like you protesting the flag and we got people on my ass about protesting the flag. And I'm sure it's maybe not that many Democrats or people who feel like that are NFL owners. Even though Kraft did get Meek Mill out of jail or help that, whatever. But they're like, hold on. Now. Kraft is Trump homeboy. Yeah. So let's but, not give him too much Yeah, credit. but I'm saying, you know, but, but at the same time, he like, hold on. The president after us, we don't, we don't want this negative publicity. Nike like, bring it on. Because at the end of the day, if you think about it, uh, Black Panther sold a uh, went, went a billion. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody was in that room and said, hey, man, hold on. We don't have no problem putting Black Panther with a billion. We don't have no problem put that man face, go tie on the freckles and let him rock the fro. You know what I'm saying? And then we have him speaking behind a bunch of other different people. So let, let's let's go to billion. Nick Nick Cannon went and, sold, went and bought all the socks up today. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a surge of black folk going in there buying stuff. One thing about us, when we believe, believe, we'll go support. And, I want to know something. Let me ask you a question before this, like, because I don't know the answer to this question. Was Colin Kaepernick already under a Nike contract before yes. this? Yeah. Yes. They've been sitting on him for the last three years, they yeah. said. Just Because they didn't know what to do with him. No. They said Adidas wanted him. Mm-hmm. They said um, somebody, Puma, wanted him. Yeah. A couple of different companies were, like, yeah. trying to get Colin Kaepernick out of that deal. And Nike was like, nah, relax. He goes, he goes some more. Like, hold Just, on for a second. We'll mm-hmm. We'll figure out what to do with you. I mean, it's no coincidence they dropped him right before the season's about to start. And then right after he won, he uh got the trial, you know, they can continue with the case. They supposed to be what had a commercial today, mm-hmm. right before the game. Like they were like, "Hey, look, let's talk about Colin Kaepernick right before the the first game of the season." Yeah. They they want that that conversation, but I think it goes back to what you guys just said, which is very very interesting with Roger Sear. Their personal feelings of the owners. Mm-hmm. Or like, I don't want that shit on my team. Mm-hmm. It's a room of 32 white men with a lot of money yeah. who don't want to be told what to do. Exactly. And they're like, I don't give a shit if it's going to make us more money. And last year they proved, I don't give a shit if it's going to make my team more competitive. Mm-hmm. Like the Houston Texans yeah. who tanked their whole season when Deshaun Watson got hurt. Yeah. Or we can name three or four different teams who were like, I'm just going to put this trash quarterback out there mm-hmm. because our, our starter is out of the... And we're not even going to give Colin a look. Yeah. So they're concerned no, about everything else. So I want to tell you that I that I dis I kind of, for in a sense, now I don't disagree. I agree with your whole point. But here's my here's where I see the Colin Kaepernick compared to all the other quarterbacks argument uh, come really into fruition is the fact that RG three got a job. Like, okay, cool. Let's say you want that white quarterback, like that typical like pocket passer guy. Like that's who you want on your team. Like that's what you want to build around. You don't want to run the run pass option. You don't want to do that. You you're a standard guy. Well, mm-hmm. in my estimation, like I thought, I think that Colin Kaepernick is a better quarterback than RG three. Okay. So I I look at it and I'm like I'm happy RG three got a job, but I would have probably went with Colin Kaepernick. I Man, it's it's forty six quarterbacks that's. That Colin Kaepernick is way better than the league. Right? And I was very intentional about starting with the Texans as the first um the first option. Because they were like, nah, he might not fit our system. Mm-hmm. But you got Deshaun Watson running around and yeah. doing all of the same stuff Watson that Kaepernick was doing. This year. And then it's like, nah, we, we can't use that. So it's a lot more to it than just, I mean, obviously. Yeah. We're, we're, we're beating a dead horse. If, if this podcast was us talking about that the NFL is unfairly treating Colin yeah. Kaepernick, well, that shit's... That's everybody knows that. Yeah. For the last two years, we've been knowing it, that. It was it was a all all uh, pro offensive lineman who got traded from the Texans because he stood up when uh Bob came down there and said we're not gonna have that that type of uh, Dwayne no. Brown. Is that who you talking about, Dwayne Brown? No, it's another dude. Oh, okay. Um, he was on another podcast. Listen to you don't like the dude, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but he was saying that Bob and that came down there and he said he stood up. He said he understood why rookies and stuff couldn't stand up. But he was like, I'm a vet. You ain't going to talk to me. You don't tell me what I can and cannot do when it comes to that type of stuff. So, you know, and he was like, he came, he came, like, had a, he came to the field with it, you know, telling him, oh, we're going to, we're going to kneel, we're not going to kneel for the flag. We're not going to have it on our team. So, a good quote that I heard online, I don't know who said it, so I can't give them credit, but they said, Nike is marketing to their customer for the next 30 years, Hmm. not the last 30 years. The new customer base will be highly educated and able to draw a distinction between protesting the American flag. And protesting institutionalized racial violence. Mm. It's very much the I don't want to put a hundred on ten and say Kaepernick is Muhammad Ali. No. But it's very much well, in the moment of Muhammad Ali's um going to jail, standing I up for his beliefs. Really close to him though. People were like, We hate Muhammad Ali. Why are mm. you doing that shit? And yeah. we hate him. But ye- it, but history proved 
that Muhammad Ali was right. Yes. And history probably will mm-hmm. bear out, or not even probably, but history right. has to bear out yeah. that Colin Kaepernick was trying to do something good here. Yeah. I mean, he, he risked it all. He put it all on the table, man, behind his beliefs. Even when he was standing alone, when he was by himself. He said, you know what? If y'all put me, if y'all cut me, so be it. You know? Let me ask y'all two questions. Well, I got about two or three more things, but let me ask you this. Did y'all know that Nike offers 10% discount on all online purchases to police officers? I didn't know that. So, Officer Friendly getting them? If he want to go get some Nikes online, 10% off because he a cop. So, no tax. So, Nike is with the cops, too. Yeah. Blue Lives Matter to, to Nike. Nike. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, it's... Nike is probably great at playing all sides of the fence. They was in bed with Lance Armstrong, Liv Strong. You supposed to though. Whatever. If you make, if you out here to make money, at America, the end of the day. America. Yeah. yeah, everybody matters. Now, how do you think Roger Goodell, the NFL commissioner, felt about the fact that Nike is the official branding source of the NFL, but they signed Kaepernick? Ha <laughs> ha! Like a dummy. <laughs> hmm. They played him. I don't think, I don't, you know, honestly, I, I really don't know. I really don't think that man, in the grand scheme of things, because we're talking about businesses, really cares. That man make more <laughs> money. That man make more money than every player in the league right now. Okay. Like, you know, he, he made $40 million when boys making a max of like 25, 20, you know, to 30. So okay. like, does, do you really care? Like, I'm just doing my job, you know, like, okay, so hey, all the owners say keep that man out of the league. He out of the league. I'm making my 40, my 40 mil. I'm good. So he don't care either way. You think he don't I care? I feel exactly how Raj feels. He don't care either way. He don't care. And he, he probably care. feel like eh. it's a good thing because now it don't look like we're super like unfair. <laughs> so somebody's giving him a chance. Somebody <laughs> affiliated with the NFL. Yeah. Like All I don't right. think Roger Goodell gives a shit one way or the other. Like I feel like right. Roger Goodell is he like, like about he him. might be the type of dude to like he might have had dinner with Kaepernick last night. He like, man, you know I can't do nothing about this, my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, he might be that. Like, I don't know if he's really know. doing that. Of course, I don't really think that. But, like, Roger it wouldn't Goodell surprise me. personal when some shit he behind there. But why? But, like, he, he really was, don't. Like, he was he trying. Really, he, he don't play he, about about certain stuff. Like, you know, he very, very hard knows. Like, he don't play. But Unless you Ray Rice to, and smack your bitch, then you get the two game suspension. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you get a two. Like, you can smack your bitch for, like, but, but in the words of Kevin Gates... I thought it was legal to beat your hoe. <laughs> Shit, it's your hoe. Like, I mean, like, I think that Roger Goodell was listening to a lot of Kevin Gates <laughs> before he gave Ray Rice, Rice yeah. a two-game suspension. Like but those is. views expressed yeah. by Roger Goodell do not express the views of the Best Friend Weekend Podcast <laughs> or its affiliates. So, um, just want to let that be known. Um, sure. Okay, so let's go back to something else y'all said. Um, is it okay for Cap? Now, I did hear this. That Cap stopped kind of doing a lot of the programs he was doing or had to put a, a, a pause on him because they said that it was costing him too much money. Like, he didn't have the bag like that to support mm-hmm. everything he was trying to do, all of his efforts. Is it okay for Cap to profit from the protest? Protest. Is it okay for him to cash in on his image now? Like, like literally, this is Nike. Mm-hmm. But could y'all see, like, next week, Colin Kaepernick, and these are um, Dr. Shows with Colin Kaepernick. So if, if you're on a long day outside protesting and your feet hurt <laughs> and you need some Dr. Shows in some, you need a, you know what I mean? Like, w- would we be like, that damn, Cal? Yeah. You, you, Cal, you, what, you, what the fuck boy, are you doing? That boy signed with uh, Rick it's, it's Ross, okay. Rich Hair Care. Right? <laughs> and get froze off. It's, it's, not, it's not okay because... <laughs> No, it's not. Like, I mean, a man would be going against everything that he's trying to stand for. And would he, he though? Say, no. He but can't like, make a living say, now because he's he like eat though, that right? guy? But he making a li- Like, okay, so here's the real, here's the reality of it. That man probably can afford <laughs> to um to do the things that he want to do. Now but I he can't broke? afford to do the things that he want to do and still pop bottles. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, can't, <laughs> he can't do both. Like, so he can he pop bottles, alcohol. though? Okay, so that's that's my thing. Because he's such a, like you said, it's tatted on his face. When you see Colin Kaepernick, he is a symbol. Just like it could have been Eric Reed, it could have been anybody else, but it was Colin Kaepernick. That's the person that everybody gravitated toward. Since he's the symbol of the rebellion, since he's the symbol of the resistance, does he have a certain moral obligation to not do certain things as a regular human being? Yeah, because yes. we look at him on a on a certain level now? Yes. Nah. You say he yes. He has an no. obligation. Now nah, Martin Luther King was knocking down chicks a thousand in on on every freedom march, but not so, in public. 
Like not what I'm saying is is like that's But it's not, a different that's age. What, they would have had self they would have right. had camera phones and caught Martin Luther King out there wallet. They would have had him they, just like Kevin Hart. Martin Luther King would have been in somebody DMs. With, yeah, oh yeah. Right. Like the uh, Instagram model would have yeah. definitely screenshot. I it. had a dream one day that yeah. I was digging in your guts tonight. That's the looks. What you gonna say about that, Pastor? You Lose. ever seen me? Ha. But nigga, girl, I was looking on the IG and I scrolled across your picture and I had to double tap. Ha. Every time I scroll <laughs> and I see them cheeks, ha. I have to <laughs> take that right thumb and back, back. <laughs> so that's what that's how Martin Luther King found. R.I.P. Martin Luther King. <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. Would have it. definitely been a DM. It's not funny. But no, but Cap can't. Do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely slide. Cap can't do that. Like Cap is the Cap would lose everything. Like Nike wouldn't fuck with him no more. He would lose everything if he was that guy. If he had like a club he would lose having his a drink. Luster. No, nah, no, he could have a club you, having a drink. No, he could be a regular be. human being, but he can't profit off of it. He can't profit. Like he cannot do the Dr. Scholl's commercial, the uh, Doctor Doctor Murphy wave the uh, you know wave pomade. Like he can't do all of that. Nah, I just he can't like, go too far. Like you can't you can't be he can't on, be on like a Home Depot commercial getting like little pieces of wood and making little picket signs. Nah, <laughs> you can't go. <laughs> okay, okay. So look, there's pink oil moisturizer. No, <laughs> yeah, right. nah, you can't. So do my that. question is, okay, so even if it isn't like blatantly trying to profit off the protest, he, can he just use his image? Can he just be the voice? Of Hertz rent a car. Could he not just be like, stuff. like just don't, but not talking about protest at all. Yeah, he, just being in the commercial, being like, hey, ain't, you want a car? I, I, yeah. I always go to Hertz rent a car. Yeah. Like, can he not do I'm, that? I'm either? not mad at him. They don't want to let him play in the NFL. Get Why you can't a check, he do that? Bro. Get your check, man. You I ain't mad at that though. Being pulled over in your own car. Well, rent a car from <laughs> Hertz rent a car. <laughs> That would be the worst idea. Because the first thing the police going to ask you to do is license and registration. Well, this ain't my car, sir. Get out the motherfucking car. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Get out the motherfucking car. Get out the motherfucking car. Fuck Colin. Right, right now, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me ask you another question now, since I'm on that level. Since I'm on that level. If Nike drops some air caps, like, no cap. But if he drops, <laughs> if he drops some air cap and nicks, that was like red, black, and green. Like for the struggle, all, <laughs> all black, all black oh, with like a little fro in the back or something, whatever. First of all, would you buy them hoes? How much are no. they? He says no, and you say how much are they? How much are they? I, I'm of the how much are they contingent. <laughs> I'm if not Nike dropped them air caps and they one twenty five, I'm going to give me. I'm going to give me a pair of air caps. Going to give me I'm a not. pair. Well, I'm what, what, they what got. Do they got to be nice looking though. Yeah, but you be. buy you buy Yeezys. Roger, no, I like the way they look. So if you like the way the air caps look, would you buy them? Yeah, but I just okay. don't envision them looking fire, especially if they got a throw in the back. You never know. <laughs> they got they got Kevin Hart's, they got Master P's, they yeah. got Rick Ross's, they got everybody got a shoe. Everybody. Got if a them shoe. air, I, right? Yeah. Them air caps, I feel like you got to get them just just to show you what the shits. I feel but like, that makes Nike smart because yeah. we're gonna go buy them air caps, yes. and we're gonna, gonna, gonna buy Kevin Nike shirt with the fro in the, in the swoosh. Boys be wearing that ugly see a, ass Balenciaga. I can see a big Nike cap shirt. I would buy. I would buy a Kaepernick Nike shirt if it was just like a fro. You know, like like you ever saw like the 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 Nike uh, Anthony Davis shirt. Oh, not no. an Anthony Davis one where it's just like it shows like just his brow and yeah. shit. Like I would buy the cap shirt with yeah. the fro. I've seen 100%. Adidas one with just the beard for Harden. So yeah, I get what, I get what you're saying. Like or like a the the check is like a seven or with a fist on. Well, that's that's doing a lot. I know I know a dude right now who can press you up ten of them things. In 15 minutes, if you have a what time is Thursday too? Yeah. They probably, he probably out there playing poker, right? <laughs> yeah. But I would feel, but I would feel like I was doing something. Like, of course, I'm just not one of them dudes that just go make shirts. I got partners that used to go make El- Louis Vuitton shirts and YSL shirts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not one of them. And, w- and WAMP shirts. This podcast brought to you by WAMP. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> that's y'all boy. That's your cousin. So anyway. Yeah. We all make uh, players. <laughs> <laughs> we all move product. I got you, cut <laughs> <laughs> we all make, we all we, make prints. <laughs> we so, all marry uh, punks. Okay, but go ahead. Look like <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought we couldn't say punks on the podcast. I forgot. Man. I forgot. Uh, women, women all marry um, pretty boys. I got you. Go ahead. I got you. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I, I'd buy. I'd buy the official cap shirt. I want the official one. Yeah, yeah. In but fact, you, I bet you they have it. I'm going just like you have the jersey. As soon as it stops. I'm getting a Kaepernick jersey. We got the we got the plug on the jerseys. I'm getting one. Like I'm ordering mm-hmm. one with my order. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't know they were on that site. Are they? They're not. They're not. Okay. I figured that, but because I, 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 I would have hung on that thing. It's gonna run you three hundred dollars right now. I really was considering getting. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll talk about. I that hope I can time. find like a very very conservative uh, jersey sale. You know, website online where yeah. they put that man like mark him down all the way on clearance. No. You know? Oh, because they hate him. Yeah. Nah, I would love that. Somebody already bought all of them. Then. Yeah. Ain't gonna put them on eBay for a thousand dollars a piece. Um. And you, it's funny how where our standards used to be. I remember the first time when I was in high school, I bought a pair of shoes for one hundred and twenty five dollars, and or my mom bought them for me, and I just felt like it was some Air Max, and I felt like I was killing it. Mm-hmm. Air Max tell some something. The fact that I just said them caps one twenty five, y'all was like, "Yep, I get it. them. That ain't shit." Like one eighty, one eighty, yep, two twenty five. I don't know if I want them to. That's like the the. I think for now the sliding scale is over one eighty. Over one eighty feels like a little bit much for shoes. Yeah. That's kind of like that's that's where, that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, that's yeah, where I'm at with it. Walking on the ground in them at the end of the day. Yeah, or just putting them in the top yeah. of the closet <laughs> like me and never, there, yeah. never, never wear. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this: So they burn in Nikes. We're we, we co- we coming back to that. We're coming back to y'all burning Nikes. So they had a college of the. It's called College of the Ozarks outside of Branson, Missouri. Said it's dropping its Nike affiliation after that Colin ad. It said in their new ad com- campaign. We believe Nike executives are promoting an attitude of division and disrespect toward America. If Nike is ashamed of America, we are ashamed of them. We also believe that those who know what sacrifice is all about are more likely to be wearing a military uniform than an athletic uniform. Shout out Pat Tillman. Where's his damn ad? That's that's the kind of shit they was on. Yeah. So actually, we've never heard of Call of, of, Oz, of the Ozarks. I watched Ozark season one. I can't <laughs> wait to watch Ozark season two. <laughs> But, but the no boys college. is some whole clowns out here. Whatever. Yeah. I've heard a story similar to that. Did y'all ever hear the story about Michael Jordan's son? Yeah. When he went over there? He went with number J's. He went he went. And then they, they <laughs> and the school got mad at him because he was wearing Jordan's. Yeah. And Mike came over there and was like, all right, well, Nike's just gonna just represent y'all school now. Just, just do it. Just like get rid of y'all stuff. Get rid Jordan, of whoever put, y'all was with. Yeah, just put that. Jordan on everything, man. Put Jordan. Where, where was that at? That was Central at Florida. Yeah. Central okay. Florida. He just put Jordan on everything. <laughs> he put Jordan Football, on everything. Football, golf. Volleyball, baseball. Okay. Oh, y'all want to play with my son? Okay. Y'all don't want him. Y'all don't want him to wear jeans. Sure how we do. Guess that. what? And then all everybody in the school was like, "Nice live." Yeah. Like, nothing but Nike stuff in the bookstore. Yeah. Like but Jordan, <laughs> jump man everywhere. Anyway, so my point about that is, screw them for losing the Nike apparel. But the people burning Nike stuff, right? So y'all have all heard the jokes online. It's been the recurring mm-hmm. joke, right? That the people who burn the Nikes is burning poo Nikes. Mm-hmm. Um, ain't nobody burning no high level Nikes. No, they go the stores. That's re- I heard a, a comedian say this. She was had me like cracking up this morning. He said the the stores that are really hurting by this is shoe born, <laughs> shoe town, shoe <laughs> town. <laughs> they mad as hell. <laughs> All them dead. <laughs> nah, them, 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 them I can barbecue Nikes. <laughs> Man, them boys who got like, them up. oh my God, I don't even know, I can't even think of no other little shoe, not Taylor. Shoe department. 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 Yeah. Shoe department. Like, they hurt. Hurt. Fiesta, circus. whatever circus. sells what some they got with circus. <laughs> circus. Yeah. got shoe circus. Yeah. <laughs> hurt. Shoe carnival. Man. Shoe, shoe carnival. Car- Big man. Shoe That's carnival. It. Hurt. Can't stand Nike right now. No. <laughs> Y'all cutting into our deal. Got the barbecue, daddies. <laughs> He, he was naming them. He was saying the name of the shoe. Like, nobody wanted them um, them Nike Pegasus or whatever. He kept saying, I was crying, dog. And he kept putting them on the screen. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the ones that people burning. So, it got me to think. He has a valid point. Nobody, I've not seen anybody. And I've heard a bunch of people say it. I haven't seen anybody burn in the Air Max. Mm-mm. I ain't never seen anybody burn this show, that show. Mm-hmm. Ever. Is Nike the best shoe company ever? Yes. Okay. By far. I'm, I'm just making sure we're in agreement. As a child, you didn't give a shit about getting some Reeboks. No. Until you so might find you some fly Adidas even yeah. as a grown man. But Nikes are where it's at. Yeah. Nikes have always been. For nostalgia purposes especially. Mm-hmm. What is the one pair of Nikes that you would never burn? What is my question, I guess another way to put it is, what's the best shoe Nike ever made? And I don't want y'all to go chalk. Because going chalk is this answer. The 11 Cortez oh, yeah. Jordans. Nah. Everybody says What's are the best Cortez? shoes. Is that what they call them? Cortez? Cor- no. Concord. Concord. My bad. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. getting two shoes confused. The Concords. Yeah. Um, People would say the Concords are the best shoes ever. And then other people would say the Bread 11s. Other people yeah. would say the Space Jams. I've heard a lot of people say like boom, I think boom, their boom. best shoe 
has to be one of the Air Max, man. Either that or the free run. So what is what's the Air Max that's making a big return right now? Is it the ninety eight Max? The ninety fives. No, no. Oh, 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 ninety eight. Everybody oh, on the ninety eights right now. Ninety eight, but you talk you probably talking about ninety sevens. Is that the gold got ones? The, got the lines around it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought yeah. it was ninety eight. No, it's not. I thought it was the twenty year anniversary of them. Okay, so it might be ninety seven. Okay. I don't know. I so you 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 would know more than me. So ninety seven. Yeah. I know the Air Max one when I look at them. I know mm. the ninety five Max that everybody yep. was on, and I know those. I guess ninety seven Max yeah. you're telling me. Some people would say that's the best shoe ever. I don't know. What do you think? What's the best Mikey shoe ever? Gotta be one of the Air Max. One of the Air Max. I like the ninety five. Me personally, I mean, I had like three pair of them hoes. But yeah, I like so I'm gonna tell you what's the best Nike ever because it'll never die. Nike Jordan one. Jordan the one. best one. Oh, yeah. Jordan yeah. one. Because it's my favorite. Just, the dunk will that's never what, die. People right, skateboarders my, still wear yeah. dunks. They got low dunks. low top dunks. They got high top dunks. That and Air Air Force Ones will forever resurge. Resur- Air Force Ones, low top Air Only Force Ones. Only thing Air Force Ones you can't wear number twice though. No, but it, but but that's get the different thing. colors. You talking all whites? You talking G Nikes? I'm talking. I'm talking Air the whole, Force the whole, Yeah, when you was in college, man, you had some Air Force oh, Ones. I probably still got some Air Force Ones. I got some of my small red ones with the white the bottoms. Most, and the most, right now. The most you, recent shoe that I have that I bought are Air Force Ones. Yeah. I bought those Air Force One SF ones, those special force, oh, yeah, them yeah. high daddies, yeah. the ones that was real high. I got yeah. them for Christmas them, last year. Them, them small towns, them small town small citizens, towns, huh? man. Um, so yeah, don't Air. I think going Jordan One, Air Force One. People like Jordan Eleven. I my I was always the biggest fan of Jordan Four. Fours has always just been my thing. I, out of all of them, that's my favorite ones. Ones have kind of crept into my. I like the ones. It crept into the psyche as maybe the the ones that you want to have a little bit more. I got a few pairs of those up there, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. So I don't know. It's a, it's a good question, but I haven't seen anybody burning any one of those pairs of of of. They not now some underrated shoes from my childhood. I'm just gonna throw these out there because why not? I was a huge fan of the Scotty Pippins mm. with the air on the side of them boys. The air, the air up tempos. Mm-hmm. I was a big fan as a kid of the Barclays. My cousin loved them. Things. Those Barclays was nice. Huge fan of them pennies. Pennies. The first pennies. And then let's just be honest. Foams. Neither yeah. one of y'all said foam posits. Yeah. Foam posits are beautiful to look at. Yeah. Miss no me matter with foam posits. You say what? You don't like them. Miss me. No, they one day okay, so this is how I feel about foam posits. They weigh too big and they weigh too heavy. And they weigh too expensive. They they retail at two twenty five. They like do. They, they're years. there, and that's why I don't have a pair because they're over that price range that I want to spend. I, just, I bought my bigger pair of them. They were just way too. I think the moral of the course. story is is nobody's burning these. Harachis. Yeah. Harachis are another one that can be in this conversation yeah. of Dion's. Like the Griffey. Like Robbins. I had a pair of Robbins. There's, it's a lot of. I don't know about no goddamn Robbins. I like the Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is he talking? What is he? He said the Rodman's. The Rodman's. Yeah, I think he was talking I've about never, his haircut. I've never seen those before. Never. You see when they come all the way across? It was like one big flat to shoot the shoot uh, laces with this big coming across the side. I don't know. I'm see, I, see, I used to be on them. Them Vin Bakers had some. Like, there's a lot of people who had like some shoes that like, and even in cr- today's current climate, I haven't seen anybody burn any Paul Georges. Nobody burned any for uh, any KDs. Nobody oh. burned no Kyries. So anyway. Black people ain't burning shoes, so I guess that's not why they're getting burnt. And if white boys buying Kyrie's, they not burning them hoes because all. they with the struggle. Yeah. Like, <laughs> white boys are doing that. They with... sitting lying for them shit. Now bro. if he, now if Kaepernick got signed by Sperry, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> some boat shoes. Oh my god, the boat shoes would be getting burnt left. They'd be getting thrown off the side of the <laughs> yeah. boat. That's how it is. They'd be drowning right. them hoes. Listen, I think that we we was like Rumble was a single issue person this Amen. podcast. We were single issue too. That's about forty five minutes yeah. of talking about damn near third plus thirty of talking about Cal. So uh, let's talk about a couple of other things before we get out of here. The first thing I want to ask about is this: Did y'all watch that Aretha Franklin um, funeral? Nah, I didn't either. But they had I was, a. I, I did not. Yeah, obviously not. My first question is: Would you want you to have a big public funeral like that? A no. big eight hour celebration of your life on TV? Nah, especially when the so me, the me too. I watched that Michael Jackson so, when he died. I didn't watch any of them. It's like I heard Whitney Houston one was dope. Whatever, if if that if that's what we call it. But I will say this: I didn't notice my, my church. Oh no, boy, fuck y'all! I want an eight-hour celebration of my life, and I want y'all boys to televise that on live streaming. My ch- Look, let me ask you a question, Lowe's, because you go non dom did, did does your church have like a live stream? Yeah. 
I'm Baptist, then, bro. I'm, uh, I'm, that's I'm, what I'm... Okay, I, oh, my bad. I know you was Baptist. Okay. Uh, we shall overcome. So, <laughs> my, um, my our church does. like. You know who else they say got a live stream? Who's that? R. Kelly. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll admit it. So... In the cloud. Uh, I admit it. I admit it. <laughs> My cousin, my cousin that was in the LA trip, we just talked about the LA trip. My cousin that that came holla at us that trip, um, had a had a funeral, and his funeral like is still accessible on the internet. Really? Whoa! To this day, and like not because fat. he was like his. You can still go to his like you can like they got archives on his yeah. church's website, and you can pull up his funeral. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my I church. I like that. I don't know if they live. They 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 will keep the funeral. I don't, I don't know if they would do that. If it was popping though. If everybody yeah, my, yeah, was there, yeah. If, if the he pastor was, had like a good sermon and everybody was like, oh, if it was preach. somebody, if it was somebody important, maybe they'd keep it in all cap. But I'm, I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they don't. Even, uh, what you call it, funeral? I don't, I don't probably record funerals in my church. Brent, I've but never been to one like, in my so church. I got we 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 got so many podcast audio files in our Dropbox. Why not just pay the extra money and just keep them boys' funeral in your Dropbox and like forever? <laughs> and like it's, no, I'm just saying like it's a thing. <laughs> You know what you I know? hate? I even hate when people come to funerals and take pictures of the body. That's the like, no. like no, That's my mama, no. my mama asked somebody to take a picture of my grandfather. I mean, R.I.P. Man, I miss Papa, man. But I, I remember my mama asking somebody, to t- and I didn't know that she asked somebody to do it. And I think she just wanted it for her, and that, and I'm fine with that. If she, for whatever reason, she wanted to see her dad face, yeah. Whenever she want to look at it, I'm, I'm cool. Whatever, however you want to rock. But I saw somebody else taking a picture, and I looked at the woman who was taking the picture, like. Bitch, what are you doing? Yeah. Get away from the... Do not take another motherfucking picture in here, dog. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. But I realized later that, you know, I was sad. So that's probably yeah. why I was in my feelings. No, I was just I just had a, I just had a moment. I just had a moment where I was thinking if one of my loved ones um, passed away and somebody took a picture of my one, my, my passed away loved one, because I would be pretty upset. Like, don't do that shit. One, because I don't believe in that. Like, one, like... You got like if you want a picture, like I'll email you a picture when she was, you know, when he or she was good. Yeah. But like, don't take up. There ain't no ain't. This ain't no. This not a keepsake. Yeah. I think it's a sliding not, scale of love, though. If that person love your loved one more than you love your loved one, then you you gotta let them have it. Like if it's your cousin and and then that's their brother took a picture of him, you gotta be like, oh well, that's your brother. If that's yeah. what you want to, if, if that's why you want to be part of the family, that's your brother. Yeah. And you know how funerals a lot of times don't make no selfie on, with him either, though. No like, selfie, definitely. Don't not. don't turn around and hit the camera. With, don't do that. You, well, you know how funerals bring on like sometimes like funerals can bring on a lot of feuds. Yeah. Right? Yes. That would be a feud with me. Yeah. I don't care how much you loved my people. Like we're gonna talk about this. I can I can what, always what tell what kind of with that? I can always tell what kind of person people were to what they dress like, how they dress when they go to funerals and weddings. Oh. Like I can't stand niggas. I can't stand niggas with shades at funerals. I can't stand niggas. I can't stand niggas with shades and a big T and and some and some big ass Jabot strap uh, you don't like strap jeans on. I don't like shades at funerals. So let me tell I you, mean, I look shades. At, I look at anything like, that's like you practical. can wear aviators. Cause you can't wear like I'm Ray-Bans, about Lopes, though. man. <laughs> so I'm cool. Look, I'm cool with shades at funerals because I think it's practical. I think a man want to hold up his manhood and he don't want nobody to really see him. You know what I'm saying? Crying. So that's that's how that's I've always and I get it. Maybe it's not always the. the I'm not like, what's really going no on. Shades, I don't know, bro. But that's how I feel. Like I feel like a dude with with shades on at a funeral. Like just don't want nobody in the to church. See just put your head down, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a funeral. I mean, I'm just saying, that's how I feel. It's a funeral. That's how dog. I feel. I mean, what's wrong with dropping tears? So, um, just one other thing that Bishop Charles H. Ellis the third apologized this side week titty for, for side titty grabbing Ariana Grande. <laughs> At the at the eight hour service, boy, shot his shot. I don't know if she apologized for wearing that mini skirt and yeah. her shit yet, though. But we'll, we'll we'll stay posted for that. But just think about it. It's funny because I heard something recently, like Ice Cube at the Big Three Championship. He said a female coach won, or a lady mm-hmm. coach yeah. won. And he was like, "It's time females could do anything that men could do." Mm-hmm. Females. That shit yeah. sounds so crazy to say. But the pastor was had a moment like that. He was like, "I'd like to apologize to um, Ariana Grande and all the Mexicans." <laughs> <laughs> the Hispanic people are some shit like that. I was like, "What are you doing, bro? Did <laughs> bro, have a bigger hole, bro? Look, what are you, you doing, bro? You don't be a pastor. You know, you could have a six grade education. He don't care. He don't, he don't get paid anyway. Uh, yeah, Sunday coming up. The, uh, look, the other thing I wanted to say. Okay, let's switch subjects right quick. Me, Raj. I know neither one of us did, but you did. You watched the Bobby Brown special. How yeah, you I think about Bobby. it? Hey, bro. Bobby Brown was. 
probably one of the wildest cats. Like Bobby Brown, he he ended up transitioning to the um camera phone and all that internet era, social media era. But I, back then, if they had caught that boy, some of, he was getting caught with some of the stuff he was doing. But he was wilding. I think he was great, man. I love they had Whitney on there. Whitney was loose. You know, he put you know he put it all on the line and let everybody know. Basically, he was telling everybody that she put him on that dope. <laughs> That's what the whole... Like, it was a commercial for I'm Not That Bad. For that long. For I watched like 10 hours. minutes of it. And, and it's, it's like, on my DVR. Yeah, you gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. And it came up with some songs. You're like, damn, Bobby was a, was that nigga. Okay. Ugly as hell back well, then. Well, yeah, I, I knew got, I got a couple of I got a couple of slow jams, uh, like playlists, like Apple Apple moderated playlists. And Bobby, some of Bobby Brown's songs have come up. And I'm like, damn, yeah. that nigga was kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, the king, the king was of cold, man. R&B king, or whatever R- she called King of Pop or, nah, not Pop. No, nah, yeah. but one thing I found out The bad like, boy R&B or something. No, shit. you don't make me no, respect Bobby king. Brown a lot. Oh. Whitney Houston called him the king. Yeah, Bobby Brown, knocked, Bobby Brown knocked out Janet when she was first Janet, though. But, but let's think about it. Janet Jackson probably was the thought. I agree. Like, control, she ain't had no control. Mm-hmm. Boys was just busting her down. Like, let's just be honest. That's what he told her. Oh, yeah, because like, who is the enforcer? Like, yo, Michael, I'm going to call my brother Michael if you don't. No, her mama was. I'm waiting to move it. Her mama was. She was like, um, it was her birthday, and he sung a little song to her. Uh, I forgot the name of that song. He's like, my little crush, you know who you are, all at the beginning. What he sung? Roni? When he first started working with them boys. <laughs> Dang about it, Roni. I don't know. You see a pretty little girl. That might have been it. That might have been it. But um, he, uh, <laughs> he bought a Bentley or something for her birthday. Showed up at the house. She ran downstairs. <laughs> she was like, no, you can't be here. You can't. Boy came out with a fur. <laughs> like, yeah. It was Bobby. Took though. her to the hotel, banged up. And they say he threw out naked. Threw out in the highway, butt naked. I heard that part. So you got to- they, they gotta... didn't show it, though. They didn't show so it. So the biggest thing I thought about this, this is what I wanted to discuss. And I know I, I never want to discuss the things other people do. But I saw the new edition movie. Then mm-hmm. I saw Bobby Brown special mm-hmm. had the same person playing Bobby Brown. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's what he I was hoping to. on. I love, I love it. it. Mm-hmm. I love but it. But the dude really, like the dude, like if you so, so I was, I'm big on the new edition story. So I really want to see this Bobby Brown thing. That, that nigga, that nigga nice at playing Bobby Brown. <laughs> like he is Bobby say Brown. Bro. He's definitely Bobby Brown. Say, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. He is Bobby Brown. He's about, like my, but think about for his acting career, every time I see him, the first problem is think Bobby Brown, man. Okay. So with that. That's the only bad part. I feel like black people need to have like the MCU. So if you're not familiar with the MCU, the MCU is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So over the last, what, 15 years or so, these Marvel movies have been coming out. It's like yeah. Iron Man. And it's like, uh, who is it, Robert Downey Jr.? Yes. Am I right? Yeah. He's mm-hmm. he's Iron Man. Forever. And even DC is trying to do it now. Yeah. Um, ben Affleck is Batman. Yeah. You know, Ben Affleck will never be Batman. I don't like how he... I don't, Whatever. I don't like Superman him, is Superman. Yeah. That Aquaman dude is Aquaman. Yeah. That's, that is him. Yeah. Like, they're trying to make the new little dude Spider-Man. Shoot, I, sure. Yeah. Well, I, I that's like that's a either. tough one, but let him be Spider-Man. Okay. I really feel like Tobey Maguire is Spider Man, but yeah. let him be Spider Man. We already had though. another Spider Man after Tobey Maguire. I know, but yeah. it was Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Yeah. Um, they said that the newest one is like the best rendition because he's like a ch- a kid. Like the rest of them are like kind of adult men, and Spider Man's supposed to be like a kid. But you get my point. The Hulk is the Hulk. All yeah. of these people are that is them. Thor is Thor. Can't Captain America is Captain America. Can't switch them up. They get their own movies. Yeah. Then they get to be in a movie together. Yeah. When Straight Outta Compton came out, I feel like them boys is them boys, cuz. Yeah, Easy that boy. He, easy E is Easy E. I like his transition though. He transition Ice Cube away. is Ice Cube's son. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> he, he, that's his twin. Look just like that. Dude. Like that's him. <laughs> There's no way you can. But my question is, in that movie, <laughs> oh shit, Tupac should have been Tupac from the Tupac movie. I agree. They couldn't book him. Now. I don't like the fact that Tupac should be Tupac, and if nothing else, Suge Knight. Was Suge Knight, I think, in in maybe the Michelle joint? Yeah. And, and he was Suge uh, Knight in Straight Outta Compton. Uh-huh. He need to be Suge Knight anytime Suge no, Knight no. is played in anything. Yeah. They need to keep the same characters. Got to keep that same energy. So wait, Tupac was in this movie? Tupac was in the Bobby Brown story? <laughs> but if he was. <laughs> no, no. I'm... <laughs> Hey, I, I said black people in general. general. I said black Bobby people Brown. in general. If there's a okay. Bellevue of DeVoe story, it need to be them same boys. Yeah. Okay? Absolutely. 
You can't switch it up. You can't switch it up. Even they had they had uh, Johnny, the dude played Johnny Gill. Yeah, if there's a he, Johnny Gill story, yeah, he, he was in the Bobby Brown. He was in. No, the, he was is he Johnny Gill. Was he Johnny Gill? Like, yes. I don't even, I don't even so, think sure. Johnny Gill is Johnny Gill no more. That <laughs> dude that played Johnny Gill in the New Edition story yeah. is Johnny Gill to me. The dude now, that played uh, what's the hit? What the hit singer name was? What R- Makai R- Pfeiffer? Ralph was he Tresvon? the same one in the other one? You talking about Ralph Tresvant? Ralph, Ralph Tresvant. Yeah, the dude, same dude that played Ralphie. He was in there. Uh, <laughs> Got to keep him. Makai was uh, Bobby Brown manager. Yeah, his you got brother, it. his brother. Manager. I believe yeah. in. I believe in that, and I feel like black movies need to need to come together. The dude from the Biggie Smalls movie is Biggie Smalls. There's no way you can get around that, though. But oh, that's what it was. In Notorious, I think it was um, Anthony Mackie was Tupac. It should oh, have been no. the dude from Tupac. No, wasn't it Anthony Mackie? Let me ask you a question. Yet, yeah, it was Anthony Mackie, and it was terrible. Yeah, they didn't find him yet, though. Was he? Because Anthony Mac- Mackie is 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 what Falcon? What's his name? Yeah, Falcon. Oh yeah, Falcon was Tupac. No, yeah. I don't like him. No, I don't like him. He's so, not believable. Wait, let me ask you. So we talking about Tupac? So should it have been the dude from the Tupac movie, or should it have been the Tupac from the Notorious Big movie, or should it have been the Tupac from um from Straight Outta Compton? From the Tupac movie. From the Tupac movie. The, the Tupac. He looked, in, he looked, the, he looked the Tupac the in either one of them. The one in the Biggie movie was too. He was always bouncing like he. Yeah. <laughs> he had the jiggle. And the Snoop dog. Snoop needs to be your boy Snoop. from from ATL. Yes. Yeah. That's that's Snoop. Yes. Snoop. That's Snoop. Yeah. That's Snoop. I, yeah. I, I know his name, but I can't think of it. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. I can't think right now. But that's Snoop. That is Snoop. Yeah. Like where is ATL at? Why they? Anyway, they ain't love trip. Yeah. What well, any? All, all of that to say. They need to keep some consistency amongst our black movies. Mm-hmm. Um, and I need to know when that Jodeci movie coming out because that's the one I want to see next. That's yours? That's the one I got to really, see. You know, what, you know what I think they're going to do? I think and I think I could be JoJo men. off of Jodeci. They just got to shave me. to men before, before, uh, before Jodeci. <laughs> Relax. Pause. Because <laughs> it's like the cinematic unit. They're going to do Boys to Men because they connect with New Edition. You mm. know? When they going to do that cash do. money move? Who going to play Lil Wayne? No, they did. They already did that Cash Money movie. Young uh, Thug, it's, not, it's on, not it's that on bird iTunes. Man. It's oh, you're talking about <laughs> that bird? No, that's version. the that's the um that's Miss Miss um uh, Miss Gladys movie. Yeah, Miss Gladys. Gladys. That is, that's, that's, that's the worst movie. documentary ever. I was so happy the Cash Money story, and then you turn it on, and it is the Miss Gladys story. So Gladys. what I really need to see is the um they said they were coming out with the <laughs> No Limit biopic, and when they come out with that, Little Romeo Ooh, has, has to be, to be Master. He just so short though. But he's Master P. Got to be P though. He do like his part. Everybody got to be short in the movie then. Yeah, and then August Alcina got to be C Murder. Like you got, you got. They put man. it together. So funny. What I'm thinking about is like I don't know if y'all know Tom Cruise is like five foot six. Like when I'm thinking about everybody that that man got to play with, they got to be short. Yeah, <laughs> of course, of course. A bunch of midgets. Yeah, you yeah, can't have no big, big, tall dude in the city. Yeah, the all all, all I know is his Falcon cannot be Tupac. That <laughs> no. can't happen again. That no. <laughs> can't happen. You can't no. be Falcon and Tupac. Where you are you, Falcon? You can't be Don Cheadle. I'm on your six. You can't be a uh, Warhammer. <laughs> I'm on your and, six. Uh, <laughs> War Machine. War, War Machine. machine. <laughs> and something else in the black movie. Yeah, because War I'm Machine was a hotel Rwanda. Uh, I think he was. No, War Machine was in a lot of stuff. Yeah. War Machine was you Peter, Peter Terry, Green. Terry, yeah, Peter Terry Howard was War, was War Machine, too. I don't know if you Oh, yeah, he was. He was like, hey, man, War Machine, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Say man, I'm a war machine, man. Say man. man. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, NFL season is on. It has started. Real quick, what y'all think about the uh, about the Le'Veon Bell situation right now? Man, get your money. I think it's live. All them boys, Lil Mac and um, <laughs> Lil Mac. That's what we call it, Khalil Mac from now on. Yeah, Lil, Lil Mac. Mac, Lil Mac, Aaron Donald, the boys that got that bag. They don't want to give Le'Veon Bell the bag in his offensive line. Like you know what? Just come play. We need you. The first time he get out there in the field and they let him get slaughtered in the backfield, I'm fighting them boys. Everybody. I'm taking my helmet off and I'm but fighting let's be my honest, team. He gonna make, what he going to make if he come back? 12? 12? So what he looking for a year, though? He might be looking for He's looking for longevity. Yeah, I know that. And he looking not to get 400 carries a, a year, dog. It's or touches. That's like it's breaking your body down. It's not going to happen. Or it's better for him to just sit if out. I, sit out two games. Play the what? If sit out two? Well, you know, he got a report. I don't know if you By week 10. report by week... Uh, week twelve. Okay. He got a report by week twelve in order to for this to be an accrued season. So if he sit out the whole year, he a free agent next year. I mean, he, it's it's the same shit next year. But if he sit out and come back like week eleven and say I'm back and ball and then say I don't even want to play, just, just pull up and be on the team. He could <laughs> yeah, just he put could your get jersey on. Just put yeah. your jersey on and run backwards. That's what I would do. Why not? And then wow. say, Oh, my ankle hurt, Doc. I can't get out there. 
Yeah, injury Oh, reserve. Kawhi Leonard, that thing. Kawhi Leonard, that daddy. Eye. <laughs> That's what I'm Kawhi saying. Leonard, that daddy. Hey, man. Hey, I, I appreciate. Go ahead. What you was about to say? I know. I was just saying. I think it's a shame that 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 man can't get paid. Uh, you know, a good a good uh, if you if you um if you ever listen to Mile High Ci podcast, that man really think that uh that is partially his fault. You know, like he really think that it's like, man, if that man had a better character, if he went about it the right way, like Odell Beckham. You know, like Odell Beckham had some character issues, but that man showed up for work. Yeah. And he got paid. You know, like that's what Clarence thinks. I don't necessarily think that. Like, I think that that man deserved to get paid regardless yeah. of whatever it is. Like, pay that nigga, you know? Like, yeah. you got this man. This man is the best the best running back in the league. Everybody ranking him top paid. 10 players in the league. Yeah. And right. why is Todd Gurley getting, getting paid, paid more than me and everybody else? I get that. It exactly. makes sense. Yeah. Um, I feel sorry for everybody who picked Le'Veon Bell in fantasy football in yeah. the top three. We, um, for y'all. we just had best, best friend weekend fantasy draft. You speaking of Mount High CI, you finna get drove this whole season. Hmm. I mean, shout out to the to the to the guys who hopped down. C and H, Mount High CI, um, who else in that thing? That um Dick Irv. Real, real 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 long moose uh moose. Daddy or whatever. <laughs> shout out what moose. Is, what is um, his name on the on the shit? Urban Flosaurus. I don't even remember what the name of his team is. Urban Flosaurus. I don't know. Daddy Terrence Howard. <laughs> <laughs> they got the Black Coffee Company. Got a team in there. We got a lot of different, uh, different guys who who hooked up for the Best Friend Weekend Fantasy League. We're giving out merch and stuff, so be ready for that. Um, so I mean, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know what to talk about at this point, man. That's it, huh? I think that's the end of the project. Oh no, stop that. Le'Veon that's Bell. Wow. Yeah, Le'Veon <laughs> Bell. Will he not or will he play? Now cue that music up for <laughs> nothing nice to say. You know they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing nice, nice to say, but I'll go nice. nice. Alright, so normally I'm pretty prepared for this, but I, I couldn't write nothing nice to say this week, so I'm going to have to freestyle it. It's because when I was writing it, something happened. I was trying to come up with the words while I was on the elliptical today, chilling, cooling. And then all of a sudden, I looked out of my window of the garage, and I saw the mailman pull up. So I quickly threw on my shirt, ran outside, opened the garage, ran outside, ran to the mailman and say, say, bro. And he could feel the energy when I was running up to him. He knew what time it was. See, this is what been going on in my neighborhood. My mailbox has been left wide open five times this month, like open, just a, just a jar. One time. The homie Big Q said, hey, man, you got a package in there. I went outside. I had a Saints jersey that I had bought that was just hanging out the the mailbox with the bag, daddy, just hanging out. So I was pissed about that. Then a couple weeks later, I had a package go missing that said it was delivered because the mailman leaving the mailbox open. So needless to say, I've been in my feelings. I called FedEx. I mean, I called called the U.S. Postal Service and said, hey, look, bro, y'all got to figure this out. The issue is, they said they talked to the dude, and I came home yesterday, and the mailbox was still wide open. So picture, I'm running to the mailbox with that energy today. (laughs) I walked up to the dude, and I walked up to him so aggressively in his little truck that I got nervous. (laughs) Because he was reaching for mail, but I felt like he knew I was right next to him, so he might have been reaching for that too. It was definitely a regular black dude yeah. in there. It wasn't like no little scary person. It wasn't a woman. It was a black dude sitting there, whatever. And I said, say, bro, my mailbox been open about five, ten times this week. You yeah. know, it ain't ten days in a week. <laughs> I was like, look, I done got a package stolen, and you need to do a better job of closing my mailbox. And he looked at me, he looked up at me, he was like, say, bro. I ain't even been working that route. It's the first day I've been on this route. Nigga. I, and, I, and I said, yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to say. <laughs> I don't know that for a fact, but guess what? I already didn't call them people. I called the people on Beach Nut, told them that the mailman been leaving my box open. So if that's you or if that's not you, if I see my box open again, I'm calling them people again and it's going to be a problem because I already know that they say I need to call my congressman. See, one of my homeboys work for the mail company. And he said, mail company. He worked for the post office. (laughs) And he said, that's all you got to say is I'm calling my congressman. And they really take action about shit like that. So I let him know that right then. But then I kind of, I kind of got off that energy, but I, but I I let my point be known. All that to say, I ain't got nothing nice to say about mailmen who leave their box open. (laughs) Oh, buck back when you try to run on them at the mailbox. So I won't say nothing at all. 
I can't wait tomorrow for your mailbox to be open. Wide open. I pushed might, over. <laughs> I wish I might come. I might come and open it. Don't do that shit. <laughs> Don't do that shit because you gonna make that nigga lose his job. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm go, I'm gonna go ballistic if my shit is now, open. How you know? Again. How you know? Now what I'm thinking this whole time is how you know your mailbox is just not loose. I was sitting there with him, like flipping, like I didn't mention that part. I'm flipping it up as I'm talking to him. I'm like, so what you just flipping it? Is my mailbox broke? And I'm flipping this shit and closing it. I kept closing it in front of him. Like I, <laughs> I was, I was so being, I was being a so dick. He was yes. Opening it and closing it because if you was just closing it, then that bitch loose. No, yeah, I was opening it and closing. It wasn't <laughs> just falling back over. I was closing it, opening that thing up. You see? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it quick to try to show him that you could do a lot of things. But, but I was trying to throw it so quick and stupid that it wouldn't stay closed, <laughs> so that he could see that don't do this stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, I got into some beef with the mailman today, man. With you the know. mailman. It is what it is, man. I think who you think you is? Carl Malone, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't the mailman, nigga. Yeah, I'm you, the mailman, nigga. Where your diesel truck at, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think you live because you could because you ain't got no dough on this motherfucker? Uh, just yeah. pull up. The mailman, black? the mailman was definitely black. He's a Negro. Negro. Man, he I said, man. Get it. He you said, you know why I'm. Go ahead, what'd you say? I mean, probably fucking with the podcast, fucking with that Kaepernick and everything, cuz. Well, if he said, hey, probably you're a nigga from the best fill off the back of the truck. <laughs> hey, FYI, I did, I, I did, I have called two, cause something else said it was delivered and didn't. So it's two packages that may or may not have got stolen. I don't know what's happening. Let, 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 you about, let, me, let me actually say something. Let me, let me add on that is not nice to say, but this is actually something nice to say. So, um, <laughs> this is something ahead, nice. I, the the FedEx dude came to work, right? So came drop us off something at work. And I said, shit, you ain't got nothing fell out the back of a truck, out off the back of the truck. And th- look what this nigga told me. Shit, you should have hollered at me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I said, boy, you wild. Are y'all niggas still doing that? Yes. So and boy, must not have watched Next Day L with Shabu. <laughs> with, with old Ghost before Ghost. he was um, Shabu. Shabu. And the, and the Dominicans next door. <laughs> that bad little thing went down and you pull that pistol. Yeah, hey man, if things sometimes stuff be falling off the truck, man. Hey, two weeks and calling. It's gonna be an epic state of affairs for when best friend podcast weekend. Week, week. We I don't know. We're gonna figure out when we're gonna do it. Y'all, y'all gonna get a podcast that Friday, more than likely. We're really gonna try to do our best to record mm-hmm. one that Saturday. I got some ideas of doing an actual show where we're gonna do multiple interviews, put them all together for everybody who's at best friend weekend and just kind of small conversations. Becoming one large episode where it's just funny conversations with different people who make the trip out to Atlanta. We'll see what's going on with that, but you know it would be real dope if you could like put the camera up and uh, who wants to edit that? If you could just put the camera up and then just like let it roll the whole time. (laughs) Who wants to edit that? Right, twenty four hours of of material, ninety six hours of material. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know that human being. (laughs) It'll it'll be crazy, man. It'll be a bunch of decent Libra dancing and Chase saying crazy stuff. It'll be a it'll be a crazy weekend, man. But look, it's two weeks left, man. Y'all be on y'all Dean. Appreciate y'all kicking it with us. Listen, go give us five stars Mm -hmm. if you are listening on YouTube. Go subscribe to our iTunes. If you're on iTunes, go subscribe to our SoundCloud. If you're on SoundCloud, go subscribe to our Google Play. Give us five stars. If you only give us four stars, I don't think you like us. And I, I want you. I want. I want y'all to. I want y'all to like us. No, just know it's, it's smoke on on site. On site, it's on we site. We don't get five stars. If you if you if you give us less than five, post your name and and, and drop your location. Smoke if on you site. Give us less than if you give us less than five stars. Meet me at the mailbox. <laughs>